Hey, movie buffs, get ready to dive into the captivating life of one of Hollywood's biggest legends, Brad Pitt. From his humble beginnings to ruling the silver screen, Pitt's journey is a roller coaster of talent, fame, and resilience. In this video, we'll unravel the story behind the charming smile and stellar performances that have made him a household name. Buckle up for an exclusive look into the life and legacy of the one and only Brad Pitt. William Bradley Pitt, popularly known as Brad Pitt, was born on December 18, 1963, in Shawnee, Oklahoma, USA. Raised in Springfield, Missouri, Brad is the eldest in a family of three siblings. His father, William Alvin Pitt, managed a trucking company, while his mother, Jane Etta Pitt, was a school counselor. Brad's upbringing was marked by a conservative Midwestern atmosphere. From an early age, Pitt exhibited a passion for the arts, participating in school plays and musicals. His striking looks and character charismatic presence hinted at the star quality that would later define his Hollywood career. Despite his early dabbling in the performing arts, Pitt's journey to fame had yet to take its decisive turn. Brad Pitt attended Kickapoo High School in Springfield, where he was an active participant in sports, particularly golf and swimming. His academic pursuits, however, were not limited to the arts. Pitt was a diligent student with a focus on journalism and advertising. After high school, he enrolled at the University of Missouri, majoring in journalism and advertising. During his college years, Pitt discovered his love for film and theater, leading him to take acting classes. This newfound interest sparked a shift in his career aspirations, steering him away from the path of advertising. With an unrelenting desire to pursue acting, Pitt dropped out of college shortly before completing his degree and headed to Los Angeles to chase his Hollywood dreams. This bold decision marked the beginning of an extraordinary journey that would see him evolve from a small-town dreamer to one of the most influential and respected actors in the world. Brad Pitt's breakthrough in acting came through a combination of talent, charisma, and perseverance. After arriving in Los Angeles, he faced the typical struggles of a budding actor, taking on various odd jobs to make ends meet. His early roles, though small, showcased his potential and attracted attention from casting directors. Pitt's distinctive looks and undeniable screen presence started to set him apart in the competitive Hollywood landscape. In the late 1980s, Brad Pitt secured roles in television series like Dallas and growing pains, gradually gaining recognition for his acting skills. However, it was his performance in the film A River Runs Through It, 1992, that marked a significant turning point. Directed by Robert Redford, the movie earned critical acclaim, and Pitt's portrayal of the character Paul McLean was particularly praised. He doesn't look fishing. He doesn't like Montana. Sure as hell doesn't like me. <laughs> well... Maybe what he likes is somebody trying to help. The real breakthrough for Brad Pitt came with his role as J.D. in the iconic film Thelma and Louise, 1991. Directed by Ridley Scott, the movie starred Susan Sarandon and Gina Davis in the lead roles. Pitt's character, J.D., a charming drifter and thief, stole not only the hearts of the characters in the film, but also those of the audience. Thelma and Louise was a groundbreaking film that addressed feminist themes and showcased Pitt's versatility as an actor. His charismatic and memorable performance catapulted him to stardom. The character became an archetype for the bad boy with a heart of gold, and Pitt's popularity soared. The success of Thelma and Louise not only established Brad Pitt as a bankable actor, but also opened doors to a wide range of roles in different genres. It set the stage for his illustrious career, making him one of the most sought-after and admired actors in Hollywood. In the 1990s, Brad Pitt's rise to stardom was marked by a series of pivotal roles that showcased his versatility and talent. This era solidified his status as one of Hollywood's leading actors. Pitt starred in the epic drama Legends of the Fall, 1994, directed by Edward Zwick. In this film, Pitt portrayed Tristan Ludlow, a character spanning decades against the backdrop of World War I. The movie showcased Pitt's ability to handle complex and emotionally charged roles, earning him widespread recognition and further establishing his presence in the industry. This is Finn Cannon. It's a pleasure to meet you. I hope you and Ugly here find every happiness together. 
A defining moment in Pitt's career came with his collaboration with director David Fincher in Seven, 1995. The psychological thriller featured Pitt alongside Morgan Freeman as detectives investigating a series of gruesome murders. The film's dark and intense atmosphere, coupled with Pitt's compelling performance, elevated it to cult status. Put the gun down. I saw you with the box. What was in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, David. It seems that envy is my sin. No, oh, what's in the box? Not till you give me the What's gun. in the fucking box? The success of Seven marked a turning point for Pitt, opening doors to more substantial and diverse roles. As the decade progressed, Pitt continued to make waves in Hollywood, and the late 90s saw him in the iconic role of Tyler Durden in Fight Club, 1999. Directed by David Fincher, this film became a cultural phenomenon, blending dark humor with social commentary. Pitt's portrayal of the anarchistic and charismatic Tyler Durden resonated with audiences, solidifying his status as a leading man capable of taking on uncontrolled conventional and challenging roles. Our fathers were models for God. If our fathers failed, what does that tell you about God? No, 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 I don't. Listen to me. You have to consider the possibility that God does not like you. He never wanted you. In all probability, he hates you. This is not the worst thing that can happen. Pitt's success in the blockbuster arena continued with Ocean's Eleven 2001, a star-studded heist film directed by Steven Soderbergh. Playing the role of Rusty Ryan alongside George Clooney and Matt Damon, Pitt showcased his effortless charm and comedic timing. The film's commercial success and ensemble cast further elevated Pitt's profile, marking him as a bankable star in Hollywood. You scared? You suicidal? The 2000s brought further acclaim for Brad Pitt, particularly with his role in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, 2008. Directed by David Fincher, the film followed the life of a man aging backward. Pitt's nuanced performance earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor, and the film itself received critical acclaim for its innovative storytelling and visual effects. In conclusion, Brad Pitt's rise to stardom in the 1990s was characterized by a string of impactful roles that showcased his range as an actor. From family dramas to psychological thrillers and blockbuster hits, Pitt's ability to navigate diverse genres and deliver memorable performances solidified his place as one of the most influential actors of his generation. In the later stages of his career, Brad Pitt continued to demonstrate his prowess as an actor with notable performances in critically acclaimed films. Two standout films that exemplify his continued success are Moneyball 2011 and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood 2019. Moneyball, directed by Bennett Miller, showcased Pitt's ability to take on complex roles outside the realm of traditional Hollywood narratives. In this sports drama, Pitt played Billy Bean, the real-life general manager of the Oakland Athletics baseball team. The film delves into Bean's unconventional approach to building a competitive team on a limited budget, relying on statistical analysis. Pitt's portrayal of Bean earned him widespread acclaim, including an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. The film itself was praised for its intelligent storytelling and Pitt's charismatic performance, contributing to its success at the box office and among critics. Fast forward to 2019, and Pitt delivered yet another memorable performance in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Playing the role of Cliff Booth, a stunt double to Leonardo DiCaprio's character, Pitt exuded coolness and charisma. The film, set against the backdrop of Hollywood in the late 1960s, garnered praise for its nostalgic homage to the industry's golden era. Pitt's performance earned him several accolades, including the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. The film itself received widespread acclaim for its storytelling, ensemble cast, and Tarantino's signature style. These later career successes not only reinforced Brad Pitt's position as a versatile and accomplished actor, but also demonstrated his ability to adapt to different genres and collaborate with acclaimed directors. As he continued to take on challenging roles, Pitt solidified his legacy as a Hollywood icon with a career marked by longevity, critical acclaim, and ongoing contributions to the cinematic landscape. Brad Pitt's personal life has been a subject of great interest, not only due to his high-profile relationships and marriages, but also because of his deep involvement in philanthropy and various social causes. In the realm of relationships, Pitt's romantic history has often played out in the public eye. One of his earliest high-profile relationships was with actress Juliette Lewis in the early 1990s. However, it was his engagement to actress Gwyneth Paltrow that garnered significant media attention. The couple, often referred to as one of Hollywood's golden pairs, 
ended their engagement in 1997. Pitt's most publicized relationship was undoubtedly with Jennifer Aniston, whom he married in 2000. The glamorous couple was a staple on red carpets and in the media, making them one of the most beloved couples in Hollywood. However, their marriage came to an end in 2005, leading to widespread public fascination and media scrutiny. Shortly after his divorce from Aniston, Pitt's relationship with actress Angelina Jolie became a major focus of media attention. The couple, often referred to as Brangelina, shared a blended family of adopted and biological children. They officially tied the knot in 2014, but their marriage ended in a highly publicized and protracted divorce process, finalizing in 2019. While Pitt's romantic life has been closely followed, his commitment to philanthropy and social causes has been equally impactful. Pitt's philanthropic efforts often extend beyond the glitz of Hollywood into the realms of humanitarian work and social justice. One of the most notable aspects of Pitt's philanthropy is his involvement in the Make It Right Foundation, founded in 2007. The organization's mission was to rebuild homes in New Orleans for families displaced by Hurricane Katrina. Pitt played a hands-on role in the project, contributing not just financially, but also participating in the design and construction aspects. In addition to his work with Make It Right, Pitt has been a supporter of various causes, including environmental conservation and global health initiatives. He has been actively involved with organizations like Global Green USA, which focuses on sustainable development and environmental solutions. Furthermore, Pitt Pitt has been an advocate for refugees and has worked closely with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR. In conclusion, Brad Pitt's life and career have been a remarkable journey of artistic brilliance, personal challenges, and significant contributions to both the entertainment industry and philanthropy. From his breakthrough roles in the 90s to his later successes and enduring commitment to social causes, Pitt's legacy is one of versatility and impact. I am grateful for the opportunity to delve into the intricacies of his biography and share this captivating story with you. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of Brad Pitt's life on my YouTube channel. Share your favorite Brad Pitt moments and movies in the comments. I love reading your thoughts.